Hi, my name is Amber Johnson. My name is Spencer Wall. And we are coming to you live from the new cafetoria. We are here to talk about the NHS annual Mardi Gras Parade, Freshman Academy, and the latest Spartans being the 5A class champions. You think we can do in 15 minutes? Let's see. The pride of EA. This, this is, is Sparta! Sparta. Welcome to the first episode of This is Sparta, Spartan Studios' newest magazine show highlighting student life at EA. We're going to start off this by showing the highlights of fall 2017 for Spartans, from football to snow day. Do you remember what happened last, last semester? Let's give our fall breakdown of top five things that happened. All right, starting with number five, snow day. On December 7th, it snowed for the first time in nine years. We had the chance to see how you guys spent your snow days. Did you expect it to snow so much in December? No, I did not, considering that it was so hot last year during winter time. Yeah, it was really hot. So, how did you spend your snow day? Okay, I woke up, well, my dad came in my room and woke me up at like 6 o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. acting like it was 5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was, it was really fun. I actually came out, played in the cell for a little while, made a snowman. All in all, everyone was surprised by the inches and inches of snow that left a beautiful white blanket on the ground. Icy roads canceled the ACT in most schools in and around our areas. Number four, mattress seal. We had the opportunity to ask some students and faculty questions about the event and see if they really know what happened. Here are the results. <laughs> okay, how many mattresses did EA sell in this school year? A, 128, B, 157, C, 200, D, 100. 200. Incorrect, it was actually A, 128. All right, which club do you think sold the most mattresses? A, FFA, B, Beta, C, Band, D, Football. Band. Correct. East Ascension ended up, ended up selling 120 mattresses and raising $26,500 in total for year 2017. The club that raised the most was EA's Band. One student in Band gained bragging rights when he won his bet and got the opportunity to throw pies in Miss Patty Russell's face and Miss Margaret Webb. The spear class that raised the most money was Miss Cochran's senior class. Once again, the 2017 mattress sale was a huge success for the Spartan community. All right, now number three, homecoming of 2017. Hunter, do you remember what happened in homecoming 2017? You know, like who is queen, who is king, what exactly happened, what was the theme? Here are some people that might or might not remember. What was the theme for homecoming? A, circus theme, B, 80s theme, C, under the sea, D, under the spotlight. C, under the sea. Correct. No Correct. <laughs> so now for homecoming. Who was the homecoming queen and king for this school year? A, Briley and Jamel. B, Ariana and Thomas. C, Lauren and Rustin. D, Cameron and Ralph. Well, I mean, the correct answer is not there. It was me and Miss Johnson. Oh, oh, I didn't know that y'all, oh, y'all were in it? We were in it. Y'all must have been kind of farther in, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't see you guys. It was on the secret ballot. Oh, got you. This year's homecoming theme was Under the Sea. We had sea creatures of all types fill the halls, such as dancing mermaids, floating jellyfish, and schools of fish. For each day, Spartans showed their creativity in their costumes. On Thursday was the annual homecoming parade, featuring the beautiful ladies on the homecoming court. Of course, only one lady could be crowned queen, and that lady was Miss Briley Brown. Alongside her was homecoming king, Jamel London, and they posed for pictures at the dance while the rest of the school danced the night away. Number two, Gator Week. The rivalry between East Ascension Spartans and Santa Maria Gators is the most exciting aspect of the school year, every year. However, so many events happen in just one little week. From shout out to football game, just the history of the rivalry. Let's see if you guys remember. Who won the 2017 shout out, STA or EA? I believe Santa Maria won this year. Sadly, yes they did. Was STA built before EA? EA was built before Santa Maria. Correct. Ending our fall breakdown with number one. Drum roll, please. Let's talk about some of the highlights in our fall sports. Chants are essential at every school, especially EA. 
and it's, imp and it's an important part of the ongoing tradition. But do you remember the chants? I'm going to say a chant. You have to fill in the blank. One, two, too much blue. Three, four, we're going to score. Five, six. You guys can answer together if you want to. Something with sticks. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. One, two, too much blue. Three, four, raise the score. Five, six. Oh my God, Domin I don't know. <laughs> Some win, you know. It's move the sticks. It Seven, it it's something with sticks, okay? Seven, eight, dominate. Nine, ten, we're going to win. You guys did an amazing job. Some would say the Spartans had a pretty successful year when it came to sports. Starting the success was Spartan Nets, who placed first runner-up for their jazz routine at the LHSAA state competition. Sponsor of the Spartan Net team, Ms. Stallone, described the talented young ladies to be amazing for all their hard work that they put in for this school year. Another was football. A major part of this success with freshmen second in District 6-1 and JV 2-3 overall. Varsity had some huge ties in the Spartans football success with them making it to the second round of the playoffs. Despite their loss, they still tied for first place and 4-1 in District 9-3 overall. Swim broke records and made history with their first time ever swimmer, David Boylan, who won first place at the state meet. The Spartan boys team relays placed seventh and eighth in the three relay events, and the Lady Spartans team relays placed 13th and 14th in the three relays events as well. Let's not forget about volleyball. The Lady Spartans fought bitterly against our rival Gators and won, and made it to the first round of the playoffs. When we asked Coach Gilmore to describe the team, she said, even though we fell short of our goal this year, the girls showed a lot of growth. <laughs> On February 9th, NHS held their annual Mardi Gras Parade. Students danced down the halls with their Linking Lives friends as jazz band played Mardi Gras Mambo. We had the opportunity to speak with some students that told us their experience this year and over the years. My kid is Connor, and most people probably don't know, but I, as a band student, know that Connor loves being around the band and loves being around that sort of environment, and he loves to have a tuba. And um, in the parade, he does get to have a tuba and have it all decorated. So I know that he definitely gets a kick out of this experience. Um, my favorite aspect is the just like the festivities in general, just like having to be able to dress up, just kind of going out of your way just to look different and out of the ordinary, out of your normal like routine type of way and just kind of having fun. I feel like the, my most favorite aspect is seeing the kids smile, you know, whenever they see all the people cheering them on and everything. I think that's like really special to me. I can't lie, this, this is actually my first and only time here at EA. It was so fun. I, I got to be with the, with the whole band and whole National Honor Society. It was, it was cool. I got to visit the whole school. We also caught up with NHS's lovely sponsor, Ms. Jamie Andrews, who told us about the history of Mardi Gras and its history at our school. Probably about... 15 years maybe? We used to even have horses and stuff in it. Really? Yeah, we had buggies. We've had, it's been grandiose and then it's been kind of low key and now it's kind of what it is today, uh, which I think is acceptable. I think our special needs kids really feel special being able to be a part of uh, the mainstream culture of the school. As a history teacher, it means a lot to me because it uh, emphasizes our historical reference of Catholicism and uh, French culture, Spanish culture, and stuff like that. So I like it for that reason. Uh, also, we're always looking for a time to celebrate and have a good time, and uh, Mardi Gras is a good reason to do that. Last year, the broadcasting team had the opportunity to see the Freshman Academy in the new cafetorium for the first time at the ribbon cutting ceremony. We also had a chance to ask, ask them how these new facilities will benefit East Ascension. This past December, EA has made major improvements with our new Freshman Academy building, and we were able to interview President of the Freshman Class, Carson Butler, and get his thoughts on this new establishment. I think I'm most excited about seeing the new classrooms and seeing the teachers the joy that they'll see with their new spacious environments and being able to just in general have a better working environment for doing tests and studying and doing classes. 
We also had the honor to meet up with Superintendent David Alexander, and he gave us his thoughts on how this new establishment affects our freshmen here at EA. Well, you know, I just hope that we continue to be proud and grateful, uh, first of all, about us in Jumeirah Schools. And that, uh, I mean, really what we, what everybody does in Ascension is 3,000 employees strong. Our whole mission in life, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a cafeteria worker, a bus driver, a custodian, or a secretary up front, we really all are all about this one thing, and that is those moments that you guys experience mm -hmm. in your classrooms every day. Yeah. There's not one moment that's going to make you make your education excellent, but it's a series of moments over the course of days, weeks, months, and even years that make it special so that we can equip you for an opportunity like we are to leave high school with prepared with information about yourself. With this newest addition, the future home for every incoming freshman class will be warm and bright. The Lady Spartans won the 5A class championship last month. We had a pep rally to honor the Lady Spartans in their hard work in the playoffs. EA Spartans joined together to celebrate the Lady Spartans on winning the 5A state championship and receiving EA's first school title. The Lady Spartans' final score for the game was 37-32 to in the Marsh Madness championship. Team members smiled at their classmates and cheered and screamed. Once again, congratulations to the Lady Spartans and congrats to Coach Chandler and McZeal on leading their team to victory. It was indeed a hashtag blowout. Thanks for watching. And this has been our first production of This is Sparta.